Ranked as high as number eight in the AP poll. Prosser puts a foot to it. And we're underway in Phoenix. It is Nicholson. Nicholson looking for a little seam. Ran from the first play from scrimmage, picked up about three yards, and Williams will have it again. The all-time leading rusher in Baylor history who opted not to play in this game, though Shock has been in the doghouse for a good portion of the season. A spin move and still on his feet after the completed pass. Some completions for your young quarterback. Direct snap to Williams. Did you and see that? Super fast like we're accustomed to early. Smith throwing to the outside. And here's the first catch of the night for KD Cannon. So let's put him right at 1,000 for the year. Smith to throw again, this time throwing final game. Matt Rule's going to take over after this game, being hired from Temple as Smith throws back shoulder. The boundary didn't go long, but here it comes again, don't worry. You see the corners playing off as Joey mentioned, and he finds a wide open safety. And it's an interception for Chancellor James. 15 year span, fewer than 22 prior to this year, and that was just their ninth. Brett Rippon going to throw middle of the season, a little bit of a struggle in the... Offside, number 44, the defense causing the offensive to react. Most of Brett's family went to Wazoo and he didn't do him any favors by beating him as reward. Boise's well, been good on third down, but they're not going to make this one for Boise State. Boise State has had some issues in special teams. Wales did have one blocked against Air Force. It was a big play in that game. Smith, first throw after the interceptions. Patient. Patient on the ground from Terrence Williams. Move the H-back fullback with him as well and keep it on the ground. There on that last play. Well, he was just short of the first down. Yep. First snap, false start, radiated the offense. Yep. Fumbled the snap, picks it up, fires to the outside, and then they fumbled the snap, and then they dropped the ball. Bit. They intercepted a pass inside their own five and were backed up. Sometimes a little condensation gets to work on these fields. A number of things that make a ball look different as they're coming at a receiver. Rip it. Fires a shot. Giving the fans a good vantage point. Reese, I'm trying to make excuses for the receivers. <laughs> Wait right there, Reese. I think it runs down to the third baseline. Rippin has that one deflected. Rippin right back shifting from Boise State and a lot of tight ends. Had two of them in the game. Now they're throwing to one of them right oh. down the middle. But Rippin under through that one and had it intercepted by the Bears. DB catches already tonight, Joey. So Zach Smith goes back to work, and now he's taking a shot deep. And this time, KD Cannon catches it. Smith back to work. Up to the top. 40-yard BB right to the receiver. Looking left again and firing into traffic. But that's where they're throwing. That ball was deflected. Coming out quick. Get your hands up quick. Smith. Dumps it out to Williams in the flat. And we'd like to thank Holding those of you for joining us who've been watching. The ten yard penalty, second down. Second and 20. Freshman quarterback Zach Smith for the Bears. He is hauled down. Zach Smith, the freshman. Ball start, number 55 of the offense. Smith to the outside, going over the top. That'll work. Touchdown, KD Cannon. Hey, like Katie, Katie can yeah. make 6'10". Well, he looked like it on that play. <laughs> Culture from the Pepper Hamilton report, one of the things that came under scrutiny and much flag on the play for kicking the ball out of bounds. Got into an altercation with a graduate assistant. Spent some time on the bench for attitude issues. They have very high hopes for. He's had a really good season spelling McNichols, and he'll be the one expected to carry the load this game, needing 161 yards to set the single season record. It's understandable that he'd want to get out of college now. Spurback. That's it. Two here. You bet they have. Back to the ground, throw the ball at some point tonight. This season he is three for three passing with three touchdowns. He told us they wanted to verify what they see on tape first. Direct snap to McNichols. It's a good throw tonight. Ball to see the an interception. He's back for an NFL type system. Ripping the Spurback. Spurback. Dropped the ball. Dropped it, it, it was that a, it's a ball that we would like to catch. Uh, let's see what happens on fourth down. Ripping needs three. Uh, Brett's got enough room to run for it. Back to McNichols. The game, just by moving out of the pocket like that, can be really dangerous and beneficial. 
Well, half roll to the left. He throws it out. He's got the completion. He's got the first down. Hit a strike on third and 25. McNichols with a quick cut. Breaks one tackle. Rippin can't help him, and Jeremy's going to lose a ton. Tell me this week that Boise State thinks the best thing they do is throw it to the outside, but they'll 16th play from the 16-yard line. And will throw it to Rowe. A 24-yard field goal attempt. Probably the most untenable situation that I've ever seen in college football. And for a while, Jim was able to keep it together as Denzel Benz is returning to kickoff. What was the biggest drawback when you were coming up with the uh, the list hours of our home was something we were excited about but just the unfamiliarity with uh, well I think it's recruiting you know um, you know they, they lost uh, I think it was 10 11 kids bowl but these kids have been through a lot and we wanted to make sure that they knew that they had a coaching staff that was there to have their back do you call those same kids and say well, you know now that I think about it Baylor is the right place to go yeah you know what I, I didn't and, um, um, you know Temple's a great place and as I told our kids at Temple and they love football and so, you know, that's what I love. And so they said, you know, if that's what you're all about, if you're going to, if you're going to, wow. Uh, you'd like to get a little bit of that. Is Katie <laughs> Cannon, do you love that, Matt? Is Katie Cannon. He's building up. I'm here to be the Baylor coach. I'm here to take care of you. I'm here to have your back. Point after, so Broncos have an opportunity to get some solid field position. Cedric Wilson. To him, and, you know, I think to try to figure out this, we're moving forward as a university. <laughs> Just a little bit, but uh, Jim is certainly one of the, Great gentleman coaching penalty on Boise State back him up. And, uh, that doesn't require talent. And, um, you know, eventually we want to build a team that's dynamic on offense and, and, and really, really difficult to defend on defense. Defense. Is that, that's a little different than Temple. <laughs> I mean, how do you play no, defense? Phil Snow, the defensive coordinator, will take over. Third down and one. Talking about changing the overall makeup of, of what a team has believed in in the past few years from a defensive stand Saturdays. And that's what, you know, we did when I was under Coach Paterno. That's what, you know, uh, we did at Temple, and that's what we'll try to do here at Baylor. Spur back before the game. You know what, I don't work out all week, so I try to make myself feel better right before the game. <laughs> he's, he's the coach, you're a professional broadcaster, and you're coming here half-dressed. I don't know how Broke from Rippin to Spurback, Spurback inside the 10. Fake to McNichols, over the middle. Oh. Intercepted, another underthrown ball in the middle of the field. Goes back to work. Fires it out quickly and a little breathing room. Here's Rule. I've also been hitting the quick game left and right. And just to work with and a little breathing room. Good pass out that they wanted to, but we know better. They're going deep eventually. That ball's deflected, and Smith showing the quick reflexes, catches his own deflection. Fun offense to watch. Well, if you uh, if you enjoy watching Pitt's offense this year, then you'll enjoy watching LSU's offense next, next year. year. How are you supposed to defend these plays when offensive linemen are blocking downfield? It's horrible. Low punt, Cedric Wilson's waving the arm, makes the fair catch. Drew Gallitz got Money hit. Into the kicker, number 28 of the defense. That five yard penalty results in a first down. It's not a soccer play. 100 yard kickoff return for a touchdown, and they are special teams efficiency among the bottom seven teams in the country. A bad call gives Baylor the football. That should also be something they buzz down from the booth and say, you miss a call? Yes, you can. I think it comes down, Joey, where they try to self right now. We'd like that to be the okay. For their corner spots, and but now they can't, they're soft in the run. They can't stop the run. I mean, this is, so now, now it's fourth downs we're talking about. Yeah, change of possession. A lot of traffic in the pocket for Smith. He buys a little time and then throws it to flat. It's two and all these long drives. Michael Hasty getting a carry and problems this year. Hasty has no problem finding running room. Average on defense in terms of yards per game. They've almost given up here. On for the extra point. Right now, this senior class is sitting on 39, so Boise State better get to work. Kickoff out of bounds. America, that he's not wearing the suit pants. Thankfully, he is wearing pants. Uh, I don't think so. Go underneath and complete to Chaz Anderson. Not going to, to do that, Reese. You don't have to pay it now. Far with the last three minutes of change going. I fired that run from the Baylor five-yard line. So those are a couple of scoring opportunities that went awry. Another completion to Anderson. What they're doing so far, you can tell. Playing hard, flying around. Got it off to Spurback. Coming back except for their center. You look at skill position produced in, in one 
a championship there. So I, you got to believe in Matt Rule's job. And Brett Rippon. Here's the freshman, Madison. Madison in motion. Tunnel. Cedric Wilson has a little run. Yeah, they have one timeout left. and see what Smith does. This is the area of the field he's had a little trouble in the first half. He catches a lot of jump balls well. Going to Wilson. Remaining in the Broncos' pocket. Here's Rippon. Dumps it underneath. Can field goal. He made one from 24. This one from 26. And it, too, is good. Now put the squib kick down and thrown balls. Yes. By Brett Rippon. Zach Smith has now completed 12 of 13. They went 8 of 13 on third down. Converted a couple of fourth downs. And all they had to show for it is two field goals. And Cedric Wilson are trying to give them some good field position. Job of the year. A bad call is what Joey called. He's uh, Brett Rippon's numbers. Not exactly stellar. It's improving throughout the game. He had a couple of big loss plays. And now, you see what wide receivers they have on the outside. And that's what it. Brett Rippon's going to do. He throws in the double coverage. Okay. Close either in terms of uh, the ball catchable. Yeah. That one is right on the second half of the Broncos. They're down two touchdowns. Alexander Madison nosing. Sure They're trying to that, break tonight. They? they found it in the first half, boy. They Showed a lot of character coming out and, and playing with that as McNichols slips a tackle. Madison's in the game and he's in line. And here's the double pass. Spurback going to pull it down and keep it. Thomas Spurback wanted to throw it. On that type of play, the receiver screen to make the goes tonight. Brett Rippon down the middle. Got his man. This is where you got to take care of the ball. And they get nothing. Flip wide to the left. Direct snap to Wilson. Cedric Wilson the field. McNichols getting the direct snap. McNichols looking for run. And then a bad call. He had to stay on the field. <laughs> Fade. Wilson didn't get it. Your mistake steals some possessions. That was a dangerous grand total of six points to show for it. Which is why I'm kicking the field goal on the last possession. Yeah. I just want to change the momentum. I want to get 12. You got a 12 yard cushion to the top of the screen. Yeah. That's really easy. Or your defensive end. Uh, to stop that throw, to stop the play on it. Darren Lee made that tackle. Oh, Laura. They're not going to do this all the way down the field, so when it comes, you have to make a play. Jack Smith, landing of time, great protection up front. Now he's rolling to the side. And he stayed alive and then completed a ball, but he's not going to scramble and kill you. Just get, a, get as much. Yeah, 47 yards, just shade under four yards per carry. Stop on fourth down, a drive where the Bronco defense needs, needs to get a stop. Instead, and get another. Katie Cannon now with 210 yards receiving. Oh, they're now they're bailing. That's fine, drop significantly. There is a little pressure. And picked up blitz. nicely from Terrence Williams. Boise State defensive coordinator Andy Avalos. Substitution infraction, 12 in the formation for the defense. Throws last game, maybe they have two chances to do it. Only need one. Williams. After the play, unsportsmanlike contact, number 68 of the offense. Take to Williams, pulled it out, throws it into the middle, throws a strike, it's completed. Your feet throwing a strike, that was a heck of a throw by Smith. Picked up 22, now Platt has it. That's big time. Smith to the outside, Cannon's got a little help out there, but it closes. Runs by Bear, let's see if they do it again. And Williams it cuts it back. Haven't even come close. Wings Hawthorne in the backfield. That time they brought Miles off the edge. This time under center and a little pop and in. This helps you. Been firing and just off the 34 yard attempt. Callahan's boot is on the way. Field goal is good. After the play, personal foul on necessary roughness, number 64. The penalty being on the kickoff. Down by 18. Need to get busy. Cedric Wilson. And Wilson use a little desert magic right now because Baylor is running the show thomas spurback talented competitor one of the best ones in a long line of good receivers that after the play unsportsmanlike conduct number nine of the defense that is the last thing you want to do is to do anything give the other team a spark ripping firing spurback's out there and they can't quite connect that kind of night for the broncos ripping see if he can get them going finds his ripping And he runs 
out of time. The Russian three. I'm There's good. no way they're getting her this fast. Well, they had him picked up, and then he got away. McNichols underneath. Fourth down and ten as we start the fourth quarter. Boise State trailing 24 to six. Brett Rippin stands in, fires a strike. He's got the first down. Chaz Anderson. Oh, the guy. He's gonna cover the rope. Rippin. Oh. Rippin and McNichols is greeted. And that's the fourth time tonight that McNichols has been tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Plenty of time for Rippin. Now he's going to scramble, and Rippin gets inside the 20. Ball comes loose. Baylor picked it up with haven't heard a whistle, and Orion Stewart has it. Orion Stewart. That's three fourth turnovers. Here came in hard on, on Big 12 defense and, and Baylor playing no defense, shutting down a Boise State offense. Reese, you mentioned they were able to move the ball, mm -hmm. but they haven't been able to. Now second down and seven. Smith, quick throw. Catch the cannon. Third and one run by the Baylor off, and they haven't been close all night. This bowl, 13 catches, 216 yards, couple of touchdowns. Here's this bowl record, the yardage. And Williams finds a gaping hole. Terrence Williams showing you why it really doesn't matter. Turning, but Linwood opting not to play in this game as has some other running back. After a while, that became un unworkable. Joe Martirano. Hasty. Both teams tonight. It was the first possession of the game for Boise State. Smith firing. This smells of more. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number eight. The offense that penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Matt Rule administration. That's not. That's not to cast aspersions at Jim Grove. Baylor kicking off again from the 20-yard line after the unsportsmanlike conduct. There was a penalty, the fifth of the nine. Cedric Wilson returns it out off. Russell, by the way, is going to be able to start walking in a boot tomorrow. Ripping hit as he throws. Bockle against TCU. Got beat by a thousand. Close to. Jim Grope's career, his one-year career at Baylor, and likely his career as he called on his friend, longtime member of the Ethics Committee, American Football Coaches Association, to come in in a very difficult situation. And Boise State about to see a five-game winning streak against Power Five points come to an end. And it's just a football game in person together, obviously occasionally watching home on television, but uh, I mean, everywhere there's going to be a ton of experience. Now, there's not a lot of depth. I think you've seen from tonight so far that players who chose not to come to Baylor after Mark Riles' dismissal it remains to be seen how many, how many they signed this year. Only one player committed at the moment. That's not good. Said Put him there in a heartbeat. Yeah, when, you, when you say three and then how close four and five are in the voting determines how many they took. And third down and 16. I feel like we could make a show out of that called Heismanology or yeah. something. <laughs> so Tessator has that one covered. Rippin. The big play. This is an outstanding night for Baylor's defense. Sean Whale. Just one to let it roll. They were fielded on the hop. Good commercial. Return, tripping from a 37 to assert the seating team. 59 penalty being forced from the end of the run. Cannon still maturing as a player. I want to tell you what, he. Talking to Brian Harson this week, he great foundation here. And Harson is a terrific young coach, done a really good job. Smith wanting a little bit more. Um, that's at the timing in the line of scrimmage. There's an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Gallus didn't get the call this time. You see him fall again. Trophy finalist taking on a good Auburn defense, but that Tiger inside four minutes. Brett Rippin fires complete level of conference in which it plays. The Mountain West is. Proving. See this play, see if the Broncos can keep it all, they cannot. The telecast, we're just over three minutes away from Sports Center and failing to make the conference championship game that uh, well, they have to proven to be very adaptive and very diverse too. This is uh, Texas early in the day and we had high hopes for this one, but asked him if knowing what he knew now, would he take the job again? Always the gentleman. Jim Grove is class personified. Rip, Rippin. What do we have left? No, he's, he's, he stayed for now, an extra. Now, he, now he's getting ready for the draft? Yes. Okay. He, 
the rest of the guys. Well, we were going to have a more in-depth conversation about that. Uh, no, but now it makes sense, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone felt as if they wanted to play their final game, but I totally understand. With the business aspect, and Cedric Wilson makes the grab, and he's staying bound. Griffin on the roll, and the heat firing, and it's picked off. And now maybe an opportunity for two the other way. You know, building relationships and then people in Texas love football, which he does too, and the onside kick. So I would Free kick out of bounds. Isn't it a funny How did he thing? not see that? That's awful, and for them to show up and under this setting, and the change coming, and to play this way with this kind of fire and enthusiasm. 31-12 win in the Motel 6 Cactus Bowl.